Hey guys, it's Katie Shadow 22 here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys uh, some demonstration. This is just me uh, showing you guys some tricks and cool things about the Swift repair tool. You can find this under hoscomputers.com forward slash software or just go to the homepage and click software. Pretty much this tool allows you to optimize your computer to max performance and it also allows you to make easy repairs and easy upgrades. All right. So this program is free under limited access you know you don't get the premium features the premium features are on sale right now for ten dollars which you can make that purchase um, and otherwise you get to use it for free you know just download the trial extract the folder and boom it's installed all right so once you've got the program go ahead and install it and if you want to you can go ahead and register it but for this I'm not going to register it just so you guys can see it's easy to use even if you don't purchase it okay um, so there's two things here you need to learn about the program you've got the quick tools you got the device information you need to know what you need to go to for what right so first of all if you're making a repair you want to see the information part of it right here you need to know uh, if you're able to connect you know if you're having internet issues per se uh, you need to know if you're able to connect to your gateway, if you're receiving IP, if your IP is actually correct. You know, you need if the IP for this wasn't showing up, you would know it's a router issue. If your IP for this wasn't showing up, it could be a DHCP issue, right? You know, um, there's many things in this that you might need to know. For example, if you're making an upgrade, if you're installing a uh, capture card, you might need to know how much RAM you have. Okay or a user has because you may not even use this on your computer you can use this from computer to computer making these repairs upgrades optimizations right so you know this information gives it to you right right now you know as soon as you open the program it's available to you and if this information is not enough you can click the I and it will show you all the information you could possibly need to know however that information is a little discreet on my part and I am not giving that out okay so that's it for the device information and you know I'll go a little bit more in depth in that later but we're going to go on to the quick tools. These are shortcuts to all the programs on your computer for the most part that you might and will need. Okay, So you have five, nine programs right here that you're going to need to make a driver fix you know, or a device problem fix or a optimization right so you know if you're making a computer faster you're going to need the disk defrag the services disk cleanup ms config and possibly task manager right but if you're having a driver issue you're going to need device manager okay if you're having problems with errors you're going to need the event viewer and then anything you do not need or do need might be found in control panel settings or file explorer and if these are not enough, there's a complete list of additional runs you can see right here under the run task. Okay. Um, my program's a little bugged because I was running this earlier in a different video and I didn't flush everything out just yet. Okay. So that's it for uh, those, the quick tools. However, you're presented with three tools that are not necessarily required or needed. Okay, we have the Resources Plus, we have Notepad, and we have Google.com. Clicking this gives you Notepad, obviously. This one brings you straight to Google.com in your default web browser. Okay, and then Resources Plus is something that is actually only ex featured in this program. It is exclusive, and it's very important when you're making edits and repairs on a computer or optimization. So once you click it, it's going to open up the Resources Logger. Oh, I clicked it two times. Whoopsies. Okay. So, it's going to give you uh, two tabs. It's going to give you PC Data Collect 1. If you click that, it's going to give out you information right now about your device. Okay, it's going to tell you what your CPU is running at, your RAM, your storage. Okay, so you want to do this before you make a repair or an upgrade or anything like that. And then once you're done, you're going to collect the data a second time. Okay, so this is like your before tab and this is your after tab. Okay, and it's going to tell you what kind of a difference there was. So that from the five seconds that I clicked those two buttons, there's a 0.5 difference. You can see the difference here. My CPU 
went down 0.9. My RAM went up 0.4, you know. So you could see the difference. Now, you know, your CPU and your RAM's always gonna be going up and down. If you open your task manager and you really observe it, you're gonna see these numbers changing nonstop, you know. So that's not something you can't help. But what you can help is the big difference from a repair or an upgrade or optimization. You can really see those numbers change, okay? And when these numbers are in the 20s or above, you can feel a difference, okay? And this is all explained within the program itself, okay? Once you actually buy the premium features, you learn these things and you'll be taught these things just as under the Learn tab. Under the Learn tab, you can learn about updates, adding apps and tools efficiently, a complete update log, and there's so much more to come. This is the second update this program has had since it came out like two weeks ago, okay? So um, these were not here before. So what I need to do is reset the program, which I just did. Sorry, you guys. I had to cut that out, but it's all good. All right, so you've learned, you know, the complete list of additional runs. You've learned this. You've learned a little bit of that. Now let's go ahead and dive into the settings a little bit. Now these are a little bit tricky. Um, you can always choose whether or not you show the edit button. You can, you know, choose your usage, whether you're storing this program on a USB or a PC. That has to be defined. Um, regardless, you should probably have this on a USB. That's what it's intended for, but you do not have to. Activation, you go here to, you know, register the program, you type in the thing if you've made a purchase. Update, this tells you the latest updates, and if you click it, it's going to launch the recent updates and everything that's inside of it. Um, you can check for the updates, it's pretty simple, there are no available updates. If you need, this is what I did, uh, if you're having problems with the program, you can reset it. It's not going to delete your registration. From here advanced, if there's errors within the program that you cannot fix, you can contact support and these tools under the advanced section will t uh, be able to provide that fix to you, okay? Um, soon you'll be able to use the login feature where you can log in with your Google email and your Google password. And you'll be able to forward information to and from yourself about the system, about repairs you've made, about optimization, performances, everything like that you'll be able to do in Gmail, which is really neat and cool. However, it's very complex, so it's not here just yet, okay? Um, the next tool is this right here. You're able to uh, launch commands within the program itself, rather than knowing the function to get this, the Windows shortcut keys, okay? So that this program's included right here for you. And the next thing is to extract MS info. If you want to extract your MS info, you can just select a place that you want it, and bam. So that's pretty much it for this video, uh, video you guys. I've shown you guys how to add shortcuts, tools, apps, you know, and I've showed you, you know, what you might need to make repairs and upgrades both. I've showed you a little bit of the little things. Now the one last thing is, you know, if the computer's really, really slow, it can't handle the performance of this small program, which is, you know, what, maybe five megabytes. This program is very small, you guys, and very lightweight, but if it's too much, you can right click the background and copy all the tools to the desktop. But then you don't need the program anymore. Everything that was once in the program is now on the desktop that you might need. Okay, you have your calculator, your device manager, disk cleanup, you have everything you might need right here. There's no sense in deleting all of it because you don't have to. You can do it that way or you can just open the program back up and hit delete all tools from desktop. So it's a simple desktop mode, you know, just shabam, shabam, real quick, you know, without the program. Um, and that's pretty much it, you know. If you guys like this uh, tool, you know, feel free to download it, check out the trial, you know, maybe make a purchase, support your, your uh, favorite guy, KShower22. Otherwise, uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.